Hey everyone, this is my first attempt at a speedrun of Mash Poe's 1D game. It's a free online game, I'll put the link in the description. The game has this unique one-dimensional display to represent the point of view of a creature moving around on a flat grid space. I'm playing with the 2D display turned on at the top to make it easier for myself, and also so that you viewer people can somewhat follow what's going on. The game has no audio, so I'll be including some additional commentary to give you something to listen to, and maybe to explain some details, because this game is kind of confusing. If you hear me talking but my lips aren't moving on screen, don't be alarmed. This is me, Future Dan, speaking. Hello! You may think that the 2D display makes the 1D display completely redundant, in that I wouldn't even be looking at the 1D display. Though I am mostly focused on the top display, I'm actually using both together. Because the top display only shows a small area, it doesn't give me a good look at objects that are far away. The 1D display actually gives me a much better long distance view. If an enemy or the goal is directly in front of me, and there's no wall blocking it, it will show up on the 1D display well before I'm close enough to see it on the 2D display. So, it's good for that. I got, I saw the, the goal, so I got, like, excited, but I was off guard. That enemy almost got me, because I was too focused on the goal. You wouldn't be able to tell this just by looking at the top 2D display, but the enemies in these mazes seem to be of the same species as my player character. When I look at the 1D display, I see a purple blotch with two eyes, like my character.
Here's something that makes shooting enemies a little bit easier. They seem to be programmed to run directly at me, once they have a straight path. They don't move out of the way to dodge my bullets, so if I'm facing in the general direction of the enemy, it will eventually cross my line of sight as it gets closer. I can face in one direction and repeatedly shoot. I thought I saw the goal for a second on the 1D display, but it was only the bullet that I shot. Yeah. Oh heck, there's so many of them. If I just wait in one spot, will they all come to me? I think some of them would, but uh, some of them would be like caught around corners and not be able to find me. Plus that would that would take too long, so my original goal was to beat twenty levels in this game. But I had to scale it down to a much more modest 10, as I've found that I can't even make it much farther than that. The farther I get, the levels just get more and more complicated, and there's no way to restore my limited health once I've taken a hit. So to get very deep into the game, I'd basically have to play perfectly and avoid nearly every enemy. All right, level 10, moment of truth. Oh, heck. Did I get it? I think I got it. Alright, I realized this after I finished recording. The live split timer got cut off slightly on the left side. It just passed 10 minutes.
I haven't seen an enemy in a good while. I wonder if I got rid of all of them. I don't remember if I've even been this way already. Yeah. I don't know. Let's go up. Okay, if there's an enemy, that means I haven't... probably haven't been this way yet. I am very confused right now. Yes, 10 levels. Oh, exa exactly on the decimal, too. Exactly 13 minutes and 12 seconds. Cool. Uh, just going to play around for a little while, see how far I can get. Probably not a lot farther, because I have, like, one or two health at this point. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching.